Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about what you need to get when you get to send your pay pot because you need to get like a, it's not a permit to walk but you need to get like a they're called a Camino passport a, compo, a Camino passport a pilgrim's passport which you need to get from Saint John Pied de Port if you're going to start from there and you get out of the pilgrim's office and um, I'll show you I'm going to show you what they look like I've got mine here and they look like this this is what it looks like Obviously, it depends what time of the year you go. Sometimes they change the front, as I went the second time, and as you can see, they've changed it. It looks different, but that's it. Probably this is the same. So basically, um, it's here, as you would see. You need to get stamps on the way, so you get stamps in hostels. So you need this to stay in the hostels in the albergues. That's what they're called in Spain. Hostels are called al albergues. You will see signs. You will hear everyone saying albergues. And basically when you need you need one of these to stay in them and they will stamp it each time you stay in one but you can get stamps in cafes restaurants you can get them in the municipals which are the church you'll hear that municipal means church in Spanish and you can get them from there but each day you need a stamp so then you, when you get to Santiago you can prove that you walked the way and then you will get a Compostela a certificate in Santiago but I'll talk about that in a bit and I'll show you my certificate so if you open up when you open the first page here yeah, you have to fill your details here so like your full name uh, your address you know where you come from and then you put um, your what passport you got so if you're British or American and then you put your passport number and then you put the date you start from this, the day you got this from Sergio Pedipot so you put down the date and then there's two boxes it will ask you if you walk in it or you're doing it by bicycle and you just tick the one by bicycle and then right at the bottom it will be another date but that's your finishing date and you don't fill that out when you get to Santiago at the pilgrim's office they will fill that out for you and they will say the date that you completed the walk they will sign it and stamp it and you get a stamp like this from Santiago basically you fill it there's two sides I'll show you now so there's like that full of stamps as you see and then you've got another side on the back you just fill it full of stamps basically um, so yeah but um, you do need this unfortunately to stay in the albergues in the hostels but if anything happens and you lose it on the way if you lose it or forget it in the hostel then don't worry because you can buy these in the hostels they've got them in most of the hostels or you can buy them in the uh, municipalities in the church and you do have to pay for this when you first get one in San Jose de Port but it don't cost anything or the cost is two euros or you have to pay for two euros and they'll give you this and then they will also give you oh another thing I want to mention if you fill up your passport like I did my first time I, I filled it all up full of stamps both ways then don't worry because you can get another one in a hostel or in a church and then you can start filling that up as you can see the first time I got a second one because the first one I filled it up on both sides and you, they, you can, they, they look like this as well so some of them look like this and you can get a second one and start filling that up with stamps I went crazy for the first time with stamps I was like wow stamp 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 I don't know why I just loved it Anyway, so another thing that you will get from Saint John Pied de Port at the Pilgrim's Office, it's they will give you like a, it's not a map, but it's like a diagram. It will to show you the, as you can see, there's both ways. It will show you the elevation each day, like how high you'll be climbing, um, how rough it will be, and it will show you there's different villages and cities, towns you can stop off on the way and show you how far each town or city is in kilometers as you can see and these here I've marked them off where I stopped this here has been set out for 34 days but no one follows these this the way they've done it you know but if you follow exactly this it will take you 34 days but I will I recommend you don't follow it not everyone does I don't know anyone that does really I never followed this I just walked walked as far as I could and I'd stop when I wanted to stop if I didn't feel like walking anymore 
but yeah, it looks like this. this and they give you that. And then the most important thing is they will give you a list of hostels on the way. From the from the start to the end. From Saint Jean to Santiago, even Finisterra Musia. And it's a lift of hostels on the way. And it looks like this. So there's a list of hostels and there's a lot. There's a lot. And then um, the hostels basically they will tell you how many hostels they've got in each village or town. They will say how many they've got, how many beds they've got in each one, and they will tell you what they've got. So if they've got internet or if they serve food or if they've got a kitchen or if they've got a washing machine. Um and they've got like a phone number. Each hostel has a phone number, so you you could phone up and reserve a bed. In some you can, some you can't. So you have to check if you can. It, it will tell you on here. So you basically, but to phone up and you can reserve a bed, but you don't really need to reserve a bed because you will always find a bed. I never had a problem finding a bed. You will if you like a group of four or five people, you'll have a problem. But if you by yourself or two people, you won't have a problem. And plus, if you want to phone up, you need to know Spanish. And you, you need to have like a Spanish SIM card or something like that because each time you're going to be phoning up, it will cost you money. So that's it basically. So you, they will give you them. And then when you get to Santiago, if you decide to walk to the coast of Spain, to Finisterra, Murcia, then at the tourist office in Santiago, you can go and get a, another passport like a pilgrim, a pilgrim thing for the way to Finisterre and Murcia and this is a map this is really good I like it but you don't need this you can use your pilgrim's passport you don't have to get this but I got it because I wanted to and you don't even have to pay for it and this is really good because it's a map I mean I love it you get the stamps again because you get stamps and it tells you about Finisterre and Murcia it talks about the history and and then there's a map which shows you where you stop off, how long it takes. As you can see there, there's a map. So I got that, but you don't have to. You can use your passport and get the stamps in there. Because then when you get to Finisterra and you if you walk to Moshe, you can get another two certificates to that you walked. But you need this again to stay in the albergues. And then uh, Pilgrim's carry a shell which uh, you don't have to but a lot of people do the carry shells I did both times so that is up to you and then I'll show you my certificates which I got from Santiago Finisterra Murcia I'm just getting them out here this year you can buy at the pilgrims office in Santiago it costs 2 euro where you can put your certificates in to keep them you know, not squashed or anything like that. Just keep them like that. I've got both in here. I only bought one, so bear with me. So obviously you got here. I'll show you. So when you get to Santiago and you go to the pilgrim's office in Santiago, and uh, you've completed the walk, you will get a certificate, and your name, your ne your full name will be done in Latin. And it looks like this. And um, yeah. It's free, so you'd have to pay for it. You only have to pay for this if you want to put your certificates in. It costs two euro. So that's the one I got from Santiago, and then I got. Uh, and then if you, if you walk to Finisterre, you get another one in Finisterre, which looks like this. And then if you walk to Murcia, you can get another one in Murcia, which looks like this. So that's it, really. So that's what you need for to walk the Camino de Santiago Camino Francis. Thanks for watching. See you later.